Hi. Okay, listen. So I want to assist you all in how to make an evite. So watch closely. So we're going to the evite app on your phone. All right. You're hitting the plus sign. In the top right corner, it says categories. Scroll all the way down until it says design your own. Click on design your own and choose one of the invitations that have the border going all the way around. Some of them do not. If you pick one that does not have the border around it, it will cut your picture, okay? it'll shrink your picture or cut it off. So pick one with the border going all the way around, okay? So once you've chosen one, click on it and it comes up here. Once you click in this, this is where you can upload a picture of whoever is your host, okay? So have that picture saved to your photo gallery. If they text it to you, save it to your phone, okay? So I'm going to just pick a picture of me. All right. It'll come up, says done. All right. And then you kind of follow the prompts, event title. So I'm going to call it Cozy's Virtual. I put the word virtual so that they'll know they're not having to go anywhere, but come on to Zoom. Cozy's Virtual Beauty Bash. Okay, the next one says event date and time. So I'm gonna put Tuesday because that's our launch party night at eight o'clock p.m. Do not put an end time, do not put an end time. But be sure to, if you're in a different time zone or your people in the different time zone, make sure you've made the calculations so that the invitation has the correct time for that time zone, okay? So once you pick the date and the time, you go ahead and hit done. It says event type. Click there. I always hit get together, girls night. All right, so here's where it gets a little funny. If you are having your own party, leave your name as the host. If you are making this evite for someone else, put their name as the host because that is what's going to show on the invitation. So you want her people to know that she is hosting it. It does not remove you, the computer or the app. It's your app. So the app knows that you're really the, co the, really the host. But to appear on the invitation, put their name if someone else is hosting, okay? Also put her as the co-host because again, the computer believes that you are the host. So you, in order to get her into the invitation, she has to be the co-host as well. So if someone else is hosting the party, put them as the host and the co-host. You need their uh, email address so that they will receive an invitation to be the co-host. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so from there, you go down and it says, make this a virtual event. You will need my link if it's on my link, all right? Um, I will post that along with this video so that you will have that link. So once you click on um, make this a virtual event, click on that, hit, the use your own video link and paste that link in here. All right. 
hit the back button. And then it says location. The location is Zoom. We are doing the, it's a virtual party on Zoom. Location is Zoom. The street address is meeting ID semicolon and my telephone number. Okay. City in all capital letters. So I put on my cap lock, I put glamorous. go and then in the state i put getters all right so it's hard for you all to see that but listen to my voice or replay this all right so again in city put in all caps glamorous go in state put getters it says hostess phone number Put her phone number, whoever uh, it, you're having, you're setting this invitation up for, put their phone number in there. Then it says, write a message to all guests. I have some messages posted. You can definitely come up with your own. But again, I have some different messages posted in there, uh, kind of going with the um, various events that you may be hosting or she may be hosting. If it's her launch party, you know, say something um, that I would love to share this new adventure I'm on with you. Uh, if she's hosting for you, I am hosting a beauty bash to assist my good girlfriend and I want you to come out, whatever it may be. Okay, so you put that in there. Hit done and additional options. The only thing I say in the additional options or I change is it says make guest list only visible to the host. So I do turn that on, all right? And then from there you hit continue. Once you hit continue, Once you hit continue, once you hit continue, it will uh, pop up with asking you about phone contacts or sharing this link. So your objective is to, if you're not the host, don't worry about it. Just hit save and send later and go on and make the invitation, all right? So your goal from there, ladies, is to contact your host to check her email to see that she received an invitation or email from Evite and she's been invited to be the co-host of her party. She will need to download the Evite app. She will need to register in the Evite app, okay? So when she gets that email, it will pop her over to the Evite app, all right? From there, she needs to... Um, except being the co-host. <clears throat> and she's looking for a place where it says add guests. It should be right under her picture. Um, it should say add guests in green and, and a little bubble. She hits add guests. She's looking for send, send Evite via phone contacts or text message, okay? She needs to click that button. And from there, her phone contact should pop up and she should be able to click, 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 click on everyone. 
tell her we believe in numbers in Mary Kay. So for every five she's inviting, one will come. So to get five guests, she needs to invite 25 people and let her know that anyone with skin is a guest, okay, or potential guest. So once she has clicked on everyone, she will hit send the invitation out and you're really done. So I hope this helps. Again, I want you all to be able to set up your evites for your parties quickly. Once you get a lady that says yes, go ahead, set up the evite. Ask her for her telephone number, her email address, and a cute picture so you can make the invitation and get it sent out. Okay? All right. Thanks.